Jane. I'm back for another journal with me episode. Um, I, with the pictures that I'm using for this spread, I decided to pull out these colors, the yellow, blue, and red of my Dilution ink sprays to lay down some colors so they would match the pictures that I am using. Now, previously in the past, using my Dilution ink sprays, they just never laid down the way I was satisfied with. And I recently saw a video where somebody used them and they did it like this and it was so pretty to me so I finally decided to try that. And I really am satisfied with the way the background colors or the Dilution ink sprays um, covered the pages in this spread. So I will definitely be um, trying that more often and with other colors that I have. And there, the background paper that you see me um, using there for that picture. I actually downloaded that as a free printable from Suzanne Rose Art. I think I'm getting the name right. Dot com. Um, she is actually a mixed media artist, and she does have a YouTube channel. Her work and and videos are amazing. So please go check her out. I will link her below, and you can, like I said, go to her website. She does have free printables. I downloaded some with um, colors that actually match the background colors that I've used here. So yeah. Um, so I'm just getting that um, put down and then I will move on to um, getting decorations down for the other page here and that film reel is actually the logo for Final Cut Pro way back in college um, the first editing program I ever used which is like a, a, an official one I guess I should say I'm not sure was Final Cut Pro absolutely loved it but it's been years and years and years since I've been able to use it because I did not have a Mac um, I've always been a PC person but I do have a Mac now and I finally invested in Final Cut Pro so I'm getting back to my roots and trying to relearn the program um, so far I'm really loving it because it's so much smoother and easier and saves faster all that kind of stuff than all of the programs that I've used before. I've pulled out my um, ephemera and stickers from the Vicki Booten color study collection um, with the colors that I'm using I just felt like uh, those would go perfectly with this I was deciding whether I wanted to use that so excited on both pages or cut it up and finally I just decided to separate them there and I will get that put down after I put down some washi tape at the bottom um, I really like uh, Vicki Booten's um, collection simply because um, well they're just beautiful <laughs> really but then like her ephemera the the written words um, she just makes big pieces to cover a lot of space um, I know a lot of people use notebooks that are a lot larger than mine so they're much um, easier for that so yeah but I really like the way that it looks here in that notebook um, when her stuff co covers a lot of space the big pieces that she makes it's just pretty um, here I wrote down the Empress I didn't really like the way that I wrote it down I felt like the spacing and stuff was off so I did it again and even this one is not like perfect but it's much better than what I wrote down directly on the page so there you go guys again if you mess up somehow there's always a way to cover it up so I just took some cardstock and rewrote it and I'll be outlining it with my uni pen and um, making some highlights with my Arteza white gel pens and I told you I would keep you guys updated on those so far I'm telling you so far those Arteza white gel pens are they're the bomb.com I'm really enjoying them they are working the way a white pen should work when you need a white pen to work so that's pretty much it for this video guys you will see me do a little more decorating and put some finishing touches on it here and there so if you have any comments or questions about anything that you saw in the video you can feel free to ask me that below or comment that below let me know how you guys are doing the weather is beautiful here so yeah um that's it for me if you enjoyed this content i would appreciate it if you would thumbs up the video and i will catch you all in the next one bye